Hey, found another knife manufacturer down here at SHOT Show. I got Eric here from Best Tech Knives. He's got a plethora of blades right here. You know how we feel about blades, so give us a rundown of what you got, man. You got some cool stuff. Yeah, thank you. First and yeah. foremost, thank you for stopping by the booth. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Happy to have you. Um, you know, I've actually been a BattleBox fan since your very first box. Oh, yeah? Years ago. Yeah. Has it been a decade yet? It's not quite. It's gonna getting be getting there. there, right? Eight, eight years. That's what I'm saying. It's been so eight years. I know you've been grinding. So, yeah. um, the Best Tech knives that you see, this is their house brand, but okay. Best Tech as a whole, they're an OEM manufacturer. So they do a lot of work and actually uh, manufacture knives for a lot of the companies that you may be more familiar with. They have a lot of in-house designs, but they also have a lot of outside designers. So okay. if you've ever heard of Kombu, O Stop Hell. Todd Knife and Tool. Mm. These guys work with actually a number of different companies, We Knives and different other manufacturers out there. So there's a lot of, um, I guess at this point, household names that yeah. are outside designers that do work with Best Tech and in their house brand. Got you. So let's check this out. First, this first thing, yeah, I was fixing check, to go for check that Check this out. Take a, take a look at that. Nice, so what we got? All right, uh, Cohen's Craft actually is a custom knife maker. Uh, Morgan Cohen's does Fantastic work, but he's teamed up with Best Tech in a number of different designs. But here in 2023, this is the Keen 2. So his okay. own custom knife is the Keen 1. This is the Keen 2. You know, they, they call this sort of like a Coral G10. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a, a, a unique pattern. Best Tech's been playing with a number of different materials, trying to bring in some different look, different feel, uh, different pops. Uh, it's kind of that Bowie clip style. Do you say Bowie or Bowie? Bowie. So you're in between. I'm in between. I, you, you, just, you just parsed that. You, yeah. you, you didn't have to make I just threw a curveball. <laughs> but this is S35VN, which is going to be a nice steel for a reasonable edge yeah. retention, reasonable corrosion resistance, yet a little bit in the way of field sharpenability, which is awesome. Yeah. I like this. I'm excited for this. And I yeah. also think that would make a badass fixed blade, man. Yes. It's in line with, like, the size that I like. I mean, I got pretty decent size yeah. hands so sometimes some knives are just i don't know man it, that's got a good balance to it nice. i like that yeah this is another one of his designs that's the togata so this came out a while back but if you like something with a larger that's cool. handle that's yeah. cool and it's got that modified tanto shape which is really yeah. neat i love that knife that is interesting yeah that, that's a really cool take on a tanto right there as you can see i've been playing with knives today yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a, that's the sun to go to meat knife right uh, there. Isn't that pretty with that inlay too? Yeah, that is that's nice. a that's a beautiful knife. That's really so, cool. Let me show you one more while you're at it. Over the summer, do you, you guys go to Blade Show mm -hmm. down in Atlanta? Yep. They debuted this. This is the Nixie Todd knife and tool design. I'm going to show you this because too, I also think this is it's on the premium line, but this is a good working man's knife. You might like that. Yep. Good balance, modified Tonto design. Mm -hmm. Has a forward choil, so if you want to get up and do some yeah. of that closer work, then it's comfortable. It is nice. Frame lock. Yeah, it's Front got flipper, the, I front struggle. Flipper. Yeah. It is what it yeah, is. Yeah, like phew, it flies off over there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And I already cut myself today playing, so it got to be easy, right? Gotta that's all easy. good. That's Very all cool. good. I like it. That's a, that's a pretty blade there. Yeah. I like that's that. That's the Ascot. So this is actually in the uh, budget line. Really? So, yeah. Um, you know, they, they do vary in terms of the price depending on the materials, but you can get into the Ascot and usually around the $70 mark depending on where you get it. That's a really Somewhere nice knife there. right there. That's pretty. I like that. It's It strikes the balance between a larger knife and that gentleman's style. Yeah. That could go, that could be a go-to-meeting knife, right? Could be. And it does, like, I, I can see little hints of some of the different brands uh -huh. kind of styling. Like that that kind of has a, a wee knife feel to it, you yeah. know what I mean? And that's this is oh, so that's got yeah. a little more of a clip. So this is designed by Kombu. That's the Fenga, and actually, Kombu's over here having yeah. a conversation. And all these nice. knives are his. So he's an okay. outside designer that works exclusively for Best Tech, yeah. and he's responsible for a large number of blades, about fifteen designs at this point. Wow, that's saying something, man. I mean, how many design? I mean. Come on, we got to a point in time, I think it's hard to come up with really unique designs. Yep. You know, there's just so many out there, you know? Yep, so this is one of the newer ones here. This is Mothis. It's a crossbar lock. We need to be careful because you know another company that historically had used those. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's how I cut my finger up. Oh, there you go, fidget factor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
again, you know, this is in the premium line, but they're yeah. they're made to be users. That's got a very kind of the average utilitarian blade mm -hmm. chain. Yeah, that just goes to show like the build quality is as good as the premiums, just materials that's yeah, bumping, bumping that's that. That's exactly right. That price. It, yeah, it, it has to have the right fit and finish. It has to have the right action. Yeah. And the market demands the appropriate fidget factor and the functionality. So if it doesn't have that, why are you going to make it in yeah. the first place? Yeah. Best Tech nails it. That's what yeah. they're known for. It is nice. So Nice. Very cool. Thank you, man. Yeah, Brandon. I appreciate it. I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, I'm glad I did too. Thank you, guys. So that's another knife manufacturer, Best Tech. Check them out. We're going to go find another one. Y'all don't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs>